Hello guys. In this video, I am going to talk about a problem that I am experiencing after installing the WAMP server on my system. So, I am going to talk about the problem first and then I am going to talk about the way we can resolve that problem. So, I have installed the latest version of WAMP by going to this website which is wampserver.com. I have the 64-bit window so I have installed the 64-bit WAMP server by clicking on this button. I have already downloaded and installed the 64-bit WAMP server on my computer which is running right now. Now I will go to my www folder where I usually start my new project. Inside the www folder I have already created a folder, a subfolder called as project1 and inside the project1 folder I have created a PHP file just for the purpose of testing and I have called it test.php and here is what I have written in test.php. It's a PHP echo so echo says this is a test. So here everything is fine so far but I am going to show you what the actual problem is. Now I will click on the WAMP server and I click on the local host. This will open the local host in front of me. So here is the project one folder that I created. This is the same folder that I created inside the www directory. So when I click this folder, ideally it should show me all the files that are contained within this folder. It should ideally show me all the files that are included inside this folder. But this is exactly what the problem is. When I click on this folder, it is not actually showing me all the files inside the folder. It is showing me a blank page and saying server not found. This is exactly the same problem that I wanted to show you. So I click on this folder. I am waiting, waiting. And then you will see there is a blank screen that will pop up in front of you saying server not found. So here it is. So to solve this problem, I have to again go to the www folder. Inside the www folder, you will see the index.php file. I will edit this PHP file and you will see somewhere around the line number 30, you will see there is a flag that is set to true. I have to set it to false. Here you see on the line number 30, suppress localhost is set to true. I just have to set this value to false and save this file. After saving this file, I close everything and then I restart my WAMP server. Restart all services. Once the WAMP server is restart, click on it again, go to the localhost this time when you click on the project folder you will be able to see the test.php file click on it everything is running fine that's it thank you